What's up, Star Wars fans? Hope you're all doing well. Just a little uh, diorama video. This is a little sneak preview. I'm dropping this a day early before it actually goes goes public in store at Kessel Run here in uh, Westfield Marion Shopping Centre here in Adelaide. Um, yeah, it was time to uh, do some rearranging for the new year, and I. Uh, Decided I put together a bit of a diorama for the uh, for the shelves for the display cabinets in our pop culture hair salon, which is freaking exciting. And uh, this was my idea. This is what I come up with. Um, the guys haven't seen it yet, so I wonder if they will <laughs> before I uh, bring it into the shop and set it up. Um, really looking forward to taking this into work tomorrow and uh, putting it out on display. Just gone and picked up the backdrop, got printed, got that printed out at Kmart, and uh, here's the base, uh, which is basically um, styrofoam, styrene foam. Um, it's that sort of heavier, denser sort of um, insulation foam. I see a lot of the US diorama builder guys using it. It comes pink. Um, you can get it here in Bunnings um, in a 30 mil thickness, uh, which this is, or a 60 mil thickness. And it comes in big green sheets. Um, yeah, I'll put a link to the uh, Bunnings website. So if you're in Australia, um, you can track it down and see if it's available to you too. Now basically what I did is I just cut out the size I needed for the shelf. Um, I did take one of the cabinet shelves home just to uh, get the measurements right, just so I know that it would fit in nicely. Um, and then basically using a couple of rocks from the garden, I just sort of banged up the edges uh, like so. Just sort of gave the ground a little bit of more of a uh, rocky terrain look, as you can sort of see, see in there. Um, and gave it a nice good coat of like a gray. You can just sort of see where I've haven't quite hit it with the red hard enough there, so that's okay, it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of foam you don't want to spray paint because the spray paint contains like an aerosol sort of thing that will eat away at the foam. So I've brushed on using a roller, just a nice liberal thick coat of paint um, in that sort of grey, just as an undercoat. I did end up doing the bottom as well. I don't know if you can see that there. But um, yeah, then I was able to spray on the red. Um, I think I ended up using, it was just a can of mailbox red. Um, but that's exactly what I wanted to make up the, the sort of crystal forms of, of crate. And then I went to my local spotlight store um, and got a $3 container of decor sand. And it's just white decor sand. And then using um, Aquadir, and a bit of isopropyl alcohol just to sort of spread it around a little bit more. Um, just sort of coated some spots with, with the sand. Uh, I wanted to sort of keep this area sort of open. Um, just sort of, you know, that's where the, that's where Luke sort of got shot at <laughs> by the AT-M6s, whatever they are, in the AT-80s. First order basically just blasted him. I know it was a bigger spot in the movie, but I, uh, Wanted to just sort of showcase that. And uh, also a little Easter egg here, if you look closely, uh, Kylo's footprints can be seen. But there are none for Luke. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so yeah, the last thing I did was, I took a bunch of small stones just out of the garden, uh, gave them a bit of a wash, left them out in the sun to dry, and then I just gave them a coat of spray paint red too and super, gl super glued them into place. Just so it looks like there's a little bit of a damage from like the crystalline surface sort of broken up and shattered and sort of just spray around everywhere. And yeah, then after all that was said and done, uh, sort of, there are a few heavier spots of the sand. Um, it, it's not perfect by any means, but it's fine, it'll do the job. Um, but just gave it a nice matte coat of clear um, spray just to seal it. And uh, none, of these, none of this sand's moving anywhere now. There might be the odd loose grain, but that doesn't matter. And yeah, just set up, set up Kylo. Sort of worked out the poses beforehand, spacing. And yeah, they're literally, I've got two picks, just sort of holding them down. And I will replace them with some black rubber bands once I set them up. Just because the clear ones 
do turn white. Um, they're just cheap rubber bands from from eBay, little elastic bands. But I may also just um, may also just hot glue the figures down, um, just because hot glue will break off easier. But yeah, there is the diorama. Hope you've all enjoyed having a quick look at this. Just wanted to share this video uh, a bit early. So uh, yeah, check it out on Instagram. I'll have some photos up once it's once it's going. I'll have the uh, Kessel Run Hair and Collectibles Instagram link down below, as well as a link to our online store. Come and check it out if you're in Australia. We're shipping shipping nationwide. So yeah, we've just opened up our web store late last year. And uh, yeah, we're excited to get some toys and collectibles out to other collectors who are as passionate about it as we are. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Oh, and if anyone else is asking, um, these figures are SHF, uh, Bandai's SH Figure Arts line. So if anyone's wondering, that's where they come from. This would probably scale in okay with the vintage collection as well, um, just to, you know, make it a little bit feel a little bit bigger but for the purposes of the cabinet at work this would do nicely and uh yeah i'll definitely be putting up some videos and some photos once i'm done so yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do um especially if you're a last jedi fan like i am please subscribe talk to me <laughs> all right guys may the force be with you always